What's up everyone? I have not been making any videos or anything even though, you know, my videos aren't that informative, nor have I done much anyway. Anyways, this video is going to be about an eBay sale that I had back in July. I believe it was the 16th, somewhere around there. And it was for uh, a new inbox ink that was actually expired and I explicitly put that in the title and description. So what happened was I put this, I listed this ink uh, probably two, three days before the actual sale. And it was getting a lot of views. Um, I woke up in the morning and I sold the pair of ink, packed it up, shipped it up, everything was fine. About four or five days later I get a return request fine I accept free 30-day returns and then the return re reason was an I an INET which I was a little confused I was like why an INET if I offer free returns what's the point you know other than trying to get the whole amount and me not refunding his shipping cost so when I looked at the details I saw the picture that he put and the reason and he said the reason he return is returning it is because the ink is expired i put that in the title and description nothing i can do about it so fine i and then also i looked at the picture that he, he provided for the return request and i can clearly see that he opened the box so at this point, I'm just thinking to myself, I was like, okay, maybe he just didn't read the expired part and I'm just going to get the ink back and um, it's going to have to be opened in box now. So, and I would have, I would have uh, not returned his shipping costs and I would have, I would have deducted 50% for the loss of value. So when I got the item back, lo and behold, he did the switcheroo. I don't have a picture of it right now because I threw it away. I was just so mad. But I saw it. I opened it up and he put his old used cartridges and he kept the new ones. <sighs> I don't know. So what did I do? I messaged eBay for business. They took a while. Uh, it, it, it took a while and luckily they responded on the very last day that I was almost going to I was going to have to issue a refund and let's go to the screen video and I'll show you the details the reason the final conclusion and the username because this guy as my one of my favorite YouTube people say Joe he's very fitchy this is the case and this is what he did, as always, by return request. Item I purchased was expired. I would like a refund. And then, as you can see clearly in the title, it says expired. So I don't know what's wrong with this person. Put him on blast. His username is Usmar underscore pin 6B. That's what the, the buyer ID is. And then of course eBay did not find me a fault and they re eBay refunded the customer. I got to keep the funds. And yeah, so let's go back to the video. And then as you can see here, this is the actual listing. Case is closed already. So new HP 63 black coloring series expired as you can see. All that. You go to the description and of course they can see please note that the ink is expired so yeah this is the actual listing that's uh yeah that's really all i can say about this so as you can see everything was just it was clearly a scam. He, he's, they, uh, they prob. That was their plan, probably from the very beginning, just to the old switcheroo. Um, there wasn't 
I can't really say there was that many red flags because they had decent reviews that they've been a member. Of, I can't exactly remember for how long, but there wasn't nothing that screamed at me scammer. So just to protect you guys, that's what that person's username is. If you, any of you sell ink, uh, I don't know if they're going to do it again. I already blocked them. I, yeah. So that's the name. If you guys want to go and block them, I would suggest to do it because who knows how many other times this has been happening. And since us as sellers, we're not allowed to leave negative review. There's nothing we can do about it other than uh, just make these kinds of videos to try out them. And yeah, that's really all I can say. Um, I don't know if uh, I'm going to keep making YouTube videos like what's sold and whatnot. But if I ever do come across another scammer or if any of this happens, I will be making videos. That way I can help you guys. And that way you can protect yourselves. So until next time, if I do make another what's sold video, great. Uh, my eBay sales have been like so. Uh, family matters and all that stuff. I still got a lot to list and all that. Not the greatest profit, but it's there. It's something. Uh, but yeah, till next time, keep yourself safe, keep yourself healthy, and beware of those scammers because they are out there.